Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the merge node in NA10. So far, we have learned about the splitting paths with if and switch node. The merge node does the opposite. It joins paths back together. It's like taking two streams of data and merging them into one stream. If that sounds a bit abstract, don't worry. We will explain it with simple analogies and go through the step by step. By the end, you will see how the merge node can combine data or results from different parts of your workflow. Let's dive in and learn how to bring multiple paths back into one using the merge node. As the name suggests, the merge node combines two data streams into one. Imagine two rivers flowing together into one big river. That's what merge does with your workflow branches. This is useful when you have a workflow that's split into two paths. Maybe you did two things in parallel or check two different sources. And now you need to bring the results together to use them at once. For example, say one branch of your workflow gets a list of users from a database and another branch gets a list of the latest orders. If you want to pair each user with their order, a merge node could join those branches. The merge node in NATA has a few different modes for combining data. Append, just pull all items from input one and input two together, one after the other, like stacking two lists. Then there is a combine, which is merged by position as well. Pair items from input one and input two by their index, first with first, second with second, etc. Then there is merged by SQL or key. It matches item from input one and two by a key value like an ID. For example, if an item from stream one and an item from the stream B both have user ID one, two, three, you can merge those together into one. Then choose branch. Basically, pick one of the two inputs to continue with, ignoring the other. But at its core, the merge node lets you take two separate sets of data and handle them together. It is an essential tool when your workflow branches out and you need to unify it again. Let's set up a simple merge node scenario. We will assume we have two branches of data to merge. Pull a merge node into your workflow. Notice it has two input connections, input one and input two. Connect the two branches you want to merge into this node. The, the, the order can matter for certain modes, input one versus input two, but we will clarify that in the mode. Click the merge node to configure it. Look for a setting like mode or similar. The common options are append, combine proposition, SQL, or the branch. If you select append, usually there is not much else to configure. It will simply take all the data from input one and all the data from input two, and then output the, the, and output them together as one list. Some version might ask in which order, typically input one and then input two or, so, or vice versa. We will assume default is input one followed by input two. To see it work, you should have some data ready on both inputs. Perhaps use two simple nodes that each output has a few items. Then run the merge. Input one might be a set node that outputs this. Input two might be a set node outputting this. If you merge them with append, the output will be a single stream. Apple, banana, cherry, did four items in total, combining both lists. If you use a different mode, check the output accordingly. For combined by position, with those examples, it would try to pair apple with cherry and banana with date, resulting into two combined items, each containing a fruit from both. Probably not meaningful in this example, but that's how it pairs. After the merge node, connect any node that should now process the unified data. For instance, if you merge two sources of user data and now you want to send one email to each user, you would attach an email node to the merge node's output. That email node will iterate through each merge item. If you use merge by key, you need to specify the key fields like ID, like ID from the input one and user ID from input two, if those are the ones to match. If you're using combine, decide what to do if input lengths differ, some older configuration allowed choosing longest list versus the shorter list. These details you can explore as you advance, but for the starting out, append is the easiest. So the basic steps, connect to inputs, choose how to merge, then continue the workflow with one output stream. The merge node simplifies what 
would otherwise require code or tricky handling to bring the branches back together. Let's illustrate a practical use of the merge node. Suppose you run a small business and you want to create a report that lists customers and whether they made a purchase this week or not. You have two branches, branch one, a node that gets all the customer, maybe from a Google Sheet or a database. Branch two, a node that gets all the customer who made a purchase this week. In branch one, this might output like customer ID this, name this, customer ID this, name this, and customer ID this, name this. Branch two, this output says customer ID this purchase true or false, customer ID this purchase true or false. For those who bought something, like this customer, if, if a customer bought something, it says true, if not, it false. Use merge by key, merge by field mode, because you want to line up the data by customer ID. You want to set inputs key to customer ID and inputs two keys to customer ID as well. Assuming both outputs have that field and configure to merge matching entries. The output will be a list of items, one per customer. Alice item, since Alice didn't purchase, maybe no purchased, Field gets merged in. Bob's item, Bob's data from input one merged with the true flag from the input two. Now you could feed into this. Say a formatting node to generate a report line for each customer, and then maybe an email node to send yourself a summary or a Google Sheet node to update a sheet with a purchased column. The key point is thanks to the merge node, each output item knows both who the customer is and whether they purchased this week enabling the next step to easily use that combined info. Another simple scenario is just collecting results. Maybe you did two different API calls in parallel. One to get data A, one to get data B. And you just want all the results in one list. You would use a pen mode to put A and B together. Or perhaps you split your workflow with an if node, like true branch sends email, false branch logs to a file. And at the end, you want to combine both outcomes for a final report. A merge node with a pen could join the output of both branches so you can see all the process item at once. The merge node is quite flexible, but this item shows how it helps in unifying workflow branches, whether by simply gluing lists together or by matching a related item from two sources. Fantastic! You have learned how the merge node can bring up multiple data streams together into one. This is super useful when your workflow has split logic or multiple resources that needs to come together. We hope our step-by-step -step guide and an example made it clear how to set up and use this node. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more beginner-friendly N810 content. We're almost done with our core node series and you won't want to miss the next ones. As always, if you have any question or want to share how you plan to use the merge node, drop a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.